The land of Israel is also known as the Holy Land. It is considered holy not only for Jews, but also for Christians and Muslims, as well as for the Druze and Baha'i faiths. Let's visit some of the holy places in Israel and learn a little bit about why they are holy and for whom. The Western Wall, Hakotel Hama'aravi, is regarded as the most significant site in the world for the Jewish people. It is located adjacent to the Temple Mount, Har Habayit, in Jerusalem, a holy city for Jews, Christians and Muslims. According to Jewish tradition, many important events took place at the Temple Mount, at the foundation stone located on the peak of the mountain, the creation of the world, the binding of Isaac, Jacob's dream. Later on, the first and second temple were built there. In the year 37 BCE, Herod was appointed king in Jerusalem, and he initiated a huge renovation project for the temple. He hired many workers who toiled to make the temple more magnificent and to extend the area of the Temple Mount by flattening the mountain peak and building four supporting walls around it. The Western Wall is the Western Support Wall. What makes the Western Wall, and not one of the other three supporting walls, the most special is its proximity to the location of the Holy of Holies in the Temple. To this day, Jews from around the world gather to pray at the Kotel, the Western Wall, and write notes to God, placing them between the ancient stones of the wall. Most Jews do not pray at the site of the destroyed Temple itself, since the Temple Mount, in Arabic Haram al-Sharif, is not only holy for Jews. It is considered the third holiest site in Islam. The present site is dominated by three monumental Muslim structures. The Al-Aqsa Mosque, to which Muslims believe that Muhammad was transported from the sacred mosque in Mecca during the famous night journey. The Dome of the Rock, where the foundation stone is located. The Dome of the Chain, where according to Muslim tradition, Judgment Day will occur. Islamic tradition holds that Muhammad led prayers facing the Temple Mount until the 17th month after his arrival in Medina, when God directed him to turn towards Mecca. Another holy place in Jerusalem is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, also called the Church of the Resurrection. This site is holy for Christians as it is venerated as Calvary, Golgotha, where Jesus of Nazareth was crucified, and also contains the place where Jesus is said to have been buried and resurrected. Within the church are the last four, or by some definitions five, stations of the cross along the Via Dolorosa, representing the final episodes of Jesus' Passion. The church has been an important destination for Christian pilgrimage since at least the 4th century. Leaving Jerusalem, you can find several holy sites not far from the city. About 10 kilometers south of Jerusalem is the town of Bethlehem. The Hebrew Bible identifies it as the city King David was from and where he was crowned as the King of Israel. The New Testament identifies Bethlehem as the birthplace of Jesus. The Church of the Nativity is a basilica located in the center of Bethlehem. The church was originally commissioned in 327 AD by Constantine and his mother Helena at the site that is traditionally considered to be located over the cave that marks the birthplace of Jesus. During various periods over the past 1700 years, Bethlehem and the Church of the Nativity have been, and still are, a pilgrim destination. Located at the northern entrance of Bethlehem is Rachel's tomb, an important Jewish holy site. The Bible says, and Rachel died, and was buried on the way to Ephrat, which is Bethlehem. And Jacob set a pillar upon her grave. That is the pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day. Rachel is considered the eternal mother, caring for her children when they are in distress, especially for barren or pregnant women. Jewish tradition teaches that Rachel weeps for her children, and that when the Jews were taken into exile, she wept as they passed by her grave on the way to Babylonia. Jews have made pilgrimage to the tomb since ancient times. Another site located 30 kilometers south of Jerusalem, in the heart of the old city of Hebron, is the Cave of the Patriarchs, in Hebrew called the Cave of Machpelah, Cave of the Double Tombs. This site is a series of subterranean chambers, according to tradition that has been associated with both the Torah and the Quran, 
the cave and the adjoining field were purchased by Abraham as a burial plot. The belief is that the site includes the double tombs of Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebekah, Jacob and Leah, considered the patriarchs and matriarchs of the Jewish people. The only Jewish matriarch missing is Rachel. Further mystical traditions maintain that Adam and Eve were buried there and that the cave is the entrance to the Garden of Eden. The Arabic name of the complex, the Sanctuary of Abraham or the Ibrahimi Mosque, reflects the prominence given to Abraham, revered by Muslims as a Quranic prophet and patriarch. Another area in Israel which contains many holy sites is the Galilee. Many of Christianity's most important sites are located in the north of Israel. In the New Testament, Nazareth is described as the childhood home of Jesus and, as such, is a centre for Christian pilgrims with many shrines commemorating biblical events. The Church of the Annunciation in Nazareth is the largest Catholic church in the Middle East. In Roman Catholic tradition, it marks the site where the Archangel Gabriel announced the future birth of Jesus to the Virgin Mary. Muslim holy sites in Nazareth include the White Mosque, Al-Abiyad, and the Peace Mosque, Al-Salam. Several formative events in the New Testament take place around the Sea of Galilee. On its shores, Jesus recruited his first disciples and performed various miracles. One of the places where Jesus performed miracles was Capernaum, a small fishing village located on the north shore. Excavations have revealed one residence that stood out from the others. Pilgrims referred to this as the house of the Apostle Peter. Not far from Capernaum, west of the Sea of Galilee, is Nabi Shueb, a holy site for the Druze religion. According to Druze tradition, Shueb is identified with the biblical Jethro, father-in-law of Moses. Druze tradition holds that Saladin, the first sultan of Egypt and Syria, had a dream the night before his battle against the crusaders at Hittin. In the dream, an angel promised him victory on the condition that after the battle he would ride his horse westward. Then, where the horse would stop, the angel said he would find the burial site of Shueb. The tradition holds that when Saladin's dream was realised, the Druze built a shrine for Shueb at the site. Another burial site in the Galilee is the tomb of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai at Mount Meron. It is to this place that over half a million Jews flock once a year to receive fertility blessings, to ritually cut their young son's hair and to celebrate the festival of Lag Baomer. We conclude this video with the shrine of Baha'u'llah, located in Baji near Akko. This is the most holy place for the Baha'i religion and represents their Qibli, direction of prayer. It contains the remains of Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i faith, and is near the spot where he died in the mansion of Baji. The whole complex is called Al-Baja, place of delight. The shrine of the Bab is a structure in Haifa, which is considered as the second holiest place on earth for Baha'is, after the shrine of Baha'u'llah in Akko. The shrine is enhanced by 19 magnificent garden terraces that stretch one kilometre from the base of Mount Carmel to its summit, and it is one of the most recognisable landmarks in Haifa, attracting millions of visitors.